I feel like this always happens. We're always like caught like way off guard about gate changes or whatever. It's been a little bit of an emotional roller coaster just in the first couple hours. Ooh, we actually made it. It was a little hairy kinda, but we made it. So we'll go back a few hours and show you the whole process. Welcome back everybody. I'm Nick. This is Mr. Everett who's trying to squirm away. And it's his first flight. And that's Miss Olivia. She's seasoned. She's teaching this guy how to fly. Then we got mom, Brittany, behind the camera. So what are we doing today? We're going to fly to Texas. We're flying to Texas with an infant and a toddler, and we're going to show you how to do it. Because it ain't easy, but it's doable and fun, so come along. And eat oatmeal. The first thing you got to do, you got to get some food. You can't be getting on a plane hungry and cranky, so we, we load Olivia up with food, right? Is this mine? Yeah, that's yours. You grab them. Who needs silverware? Look at Everett, he looks like he wants to dig into that oatmeal. Do you want some oatmeal? You cannot have oatmeal. What? What do you think we're going to do today? Uh, go to Samba! She knows the drill by now. Samba, I, Samba, Samba, Where are we going stand by too? Say deep in the heart of Texas. Here to here, folks. First, folks, we're going to Deep Texas. I feel like this always happens. We're always like caught like way off guard about gate changes or whatever. We look in the app. We walk across the airport with all of our crap, and then we get there and it's like, oh no, you were just there. So go back. So that's just what happened. Wrong gate. Just wasted so much time. We went, we took 10 minutes to get all the way over to the different gates, then realized the gate changed 10 minutes all the way back, and here we are. Here we are. But we're here. We're here. And we're together. Make friends with the gate agents that way they know you're here so you can go back and grab more food in the event of a delay. You don't want to like sit around, that's not fun. So it's been a little bit of an emotional roller coaster just in the first couple hours. We had a gate change that we didn't know about, we came all the way back. In the middle there, we had a diaper blowout. Sorry for the details, but you know, important to the storyline. Luckily, since this was Everett's first flight. We came here like two hours in advance, and normally we only get here an hour before the flight, if that. Moral to the story, if you have young kids, or even toddler age, get here well in advance because you never know what kind of road bumps you're gonna encounter. And bring extra clothes. We learned this with Olivia, so luckily we came prepared. I think I have like three outfit changes, so we should be okay. But when traveling with an infant, that is like, Infant Flying 101. Bring extra clothes. Can't overstate that enough. Okay, this never happens. Three seats together. All of us on the same row for Everett's first flight. So let's see how this goes. Final boarding, we didn't know it was final boarding, so that was fun. But we made it. We're headed to San Antonio. Everett's asleep, so we'll see how long that lasts. It's not her first rodeo. She's been here a time or two. She knows how to she knows how to put safety first. Olivia is destined to be a flight attendant. Take off. He barely even flinched. 
Though I recommend feeding him if you do have a baby that wakes up. But this one, it's a little champ. Can't forget the coffee. It was touch and go there because we had a lot that we had to get on board, but this was like at the top of the priority list. So it made it, luckily. We're doing good. Don't leave home without the plain snackers. Those are, those are integral to your plate. Olivia is supposed to be teaching Everett how to fly, but he didn't get the memo. He's sleeping through his instruction. kids crushed it. This guy slept the whole time. Little Olivia played on her iPad and colored and all that stuff the whole time. No naps though, so there's that. But uh, man, it was great. Can't really do a whole video on traveling with an infant because you just pack extra clothes and extra diapers and you're good. So that is how you do a first flight with an infant and your toddler with them. We are gonna go and grab some food. So make sure you stick around for our uh, San Antonio tour of food and Riverwalk. Uh-oh, somebody else is hungry. Somebody's saying they want So barbecue. that means that we're ending this. So if you like this video and found it helpful, make sure you subscribe, hit the reminder. Until next time.